Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 8th of January. I'm James Spann. Hey, we start to dig out of the deep freeze later today. Go above freezing late this morning. We ought to throw a big party or something. Uh, let's take a look at the satellite view this morning. You can see the pattern is relaxing. It is in the process of de-amplification. And uh, that means a warming trend in the days ahead. But it's pretty cold this morning. As expected, most spots between 10 and 18 uh, the coldest spot on the board is Haleyville at 11. Those were captured at uh, 5 o'clock, but hey, we'll be up around 40 later today. We figure we'll go above freezing late this morning for the first time in a little over 60 consecutive hours since Sunday night. And around the nation, still really cold up north, but just not as cold as recent days. Here's the watch warning map. Uh, I guess the most interesting advisories there. We got winter weather advisories not that far away for uh, parts of Arkansas in the Mid-South over into the Memphis area, West Tennessee, Northwest Mississippi, down around the Delta, and that's for the possibility of some freezing rain. In fact, uh, that's the chance of greater than one hundredth of an inch of freezing rain from uh, midnight tonight until midnight tomorrow night. And the uh, numbers are very high around Memphis, uh, almost to the northwest corner of Alabama. For now, we're not going to mention it down here. Don't think we have any problems down here. But if you're up around the shoals, just something to watch carefully is that'll be unfolding just off to the west. And the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning, uh, rain amounts of about two inches here, and that's as the weekend begins. And we finally got some good model agreement. I, we've had to kind of flip and flop on the weekend, but it looks like we finally uh, got it locked in now. So let's get in there and take a look. This is the GFS, the 06 c run, valid at noon today. The flow is going zonal down below that. That red line, the freeze line, is at Nashville at midday. Uh, the GFS printing a high of 40, the NAM at 42. We'll celebrate that. Still way below average, but we're moving in the right direction. Now, this is tonight at midnight, and you can see how freezing rain begins to break out over much of Arkansas back into East Oklahoma with that impulse. We're dry here. Uh, we'll be in the 20s tomorrow morning, but no precipitation. And this is uh, noon tomorrow, and that's pretty troubling for, uh, for Memphis. Uh, this is suggesting a pretty good little icing event uh, just to the northwest of Alabama. So if you're traveling up that way, be aware you could have some problems, maybe running into some issues around Tupelo, but the better chance of the icing would be up as you get closer toward Memphis. But again, tomorrow will be dry, a uh, mix of sun and clouds with low 50s. This is Friday. Moisture levels begin to rise. Looks like the sky becomes mostly cloudy. And I guess there might be a spritz or a shower somewhere, but the bulk of the day should be dry. Uh, we warm up into the upper 50s. The bulk of the rain off to the west. Now, look at this. This is Saturday. And uh, instead of the trough coming at us in two parts, now the uh, GFS is showing phasing and just one big sharp trough coming in here. Um this is Saturday at midday, and by golly, the rain is ending. This is suggesting the uh, biggest rain with this thing will be uh, late Friday night until midday Saturday. Midnight Friday night until noon Saturday. Uh, this is the European Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, and it's got a 1,004 millibar low sitting over Jasper. And some really good rains coming in with this. Uh, and again, uh, rain amounts of 1 to 2 inches are likely. So as the weekend begins, it looks wet. But again, the latest data suggesting the rain ends by midday Saturday. And with the trough phasing and no second impulse, hey, Sunday's bone dry. And I hate to flip-flop, you know, we, uh, but we're taking rain out on Sunday because the GFS is bone dry and the European on Sunday, bone dry. So uh, Sunday should be uh, mostly sunny. Temperatures uh, should be in the 50s uh, Sunday. And uh, for that event on Saturday, there are Saturdays, the weekend begins, could be some thunder. We'll probably see uh, low to mid-60s on Saturday, but uh, no severe weather. 
All right, this is Monday of next week. We're dry and seasonal, 50s and 30s. Same thing on Tuesday. And boy, look at Wednesday of next week. This is a week from today. Another very deep trough over the east and another shot of very cold air in one week. If this is right, the 540 thickness line drives all the way down to Mobile and we go back into the teens. You know, not as cold as yesterday morning, but those numbers are pretty low. That's been printing uh, 17 at Birmingham at daybreak Thursday morning of next week. So another cold shot. Fair warning. What about the end of the month? You know, we've seen a lot of conflicting model data out here. This is January 20th. Um, uh, still, you got a, a ridge in the west and a trough in the east and uh, another shot of cold air. I mean, that's got the 540 line down to Mobile. Uh, so the, the, the GFS is almost advertising two cold shots coming up, one in a week and then another one out there uh, in about 14 days. And on the 23rd, the end of the forecast, a little different look. We've got a trough coming in from the west. That's suggesting a chance of showers, but the pattern not looking as cold maybe over the last 10 days of this month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.